healthy people get nervous. <laughs> uh, they out here playing blind monopoly with with, with my inheritance. Yeah, yeah, y'all right, can have that. Like I say, to your face. I'm blessed with God gonna give me supernaturally after all the stuff y'all took from me. Man. <laughs> they fell they fell for the trick. They fell, man. I told y'all stop playing man made politics with my life, man. I'm not as stupid as you think I am, man. I know how to play stuff up, man. Like, when your own fake mother keep hurting you and then smiling your face like she ain't keep hurting you, man, like, that never leaves you, man. You are reminded that this right here is trying to kill me, man. And she succeeded. She succeeded one time, man. But that was the last time, man. And from here on, it's been war, right? And she been warned with God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. The same Trinity that rose me from the dead in 1986 when she tried to kill me, right? Talking about, oh, I ain't, I ain't gonna get your, uh, your flu shot. I forgot to go do that. It's like, look, crap. What people don't understand is I never took what they said to me. I took what they said and gave it to God. And he did what he did. He was like, I'm going to need you to suffer through this in front of them. That way when I lift you up in front of them, they'll know the who the real true living God is real. And not the God they serve. See, the God y'all serving got you hurting and killing people. And yourself. That's the lower case, G. That's Satan and his angel. That, that's not the true living God. That's not El Shaddai. E even the Chinese people, they know who El Shaddai is, man. China knows that, man. They ain't around me for no reason, man. Russia, they know that. They ain't around me for no reason, man. Like, they, man, now if they smart, they'll learn how to work with me. But if they stupid and trying to take me out, God about to hit them the same way they thought they was going to hit me. So that's why I'm laughing, man. Like, y'all wasting time trying to hurt somebody that's there to be a blessing in your life, man. Wake up, man. Like, but you don't care because you don't like how I live. <laughs> Let's read out loud one more time, man. Cookie. And then that one. And then that one, man. We want grandma time. <laughs> one more time. They fell for the trick, man. They wanted that money more than loving people for who they are. Wow, man. I told you love is powerful. I, I told y'all, I warned y'all. Love is the most powerful force, okay? It is. It is. It is. In detail, it will hit you everywhere it needed to hit. Just to remind you what love is in the midst of torture and torment, right? Like, people, people are stupid, man. Swear they know who God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit is. Till they went in the meat. God making it real clear the God you serve is not the one I serve. That's all right. Let's just put it like that. Yeah. And y'all okay with that. That's the that problem. You shouldn't be okay with that because you attacking me and it's been returned back to you times a hundred. Watch what you say and do about me, brother, sister, whoever you is. Because you, those who who act like they are above people, y'all going down. Because it was written. Like, I told y'all yesterday, y'all do know everything you doing wrong was already written. Right? All you doing is walking in what you doing. But it was written already. 
As soon as I point it out, you gonna fall like a fly. Like, oh. Yeah, because my warning manifests. I, I know you be feeling the warning. I know you do. Like, come on, man. Hey, we went past five minutes with that. Yeah, we on J O H N chapter five. So all I'm learning is I I've been lied to all my life, and and God is giving me the truth, and and I don't feel bad for his wife or those who went against because. I was loving on them, but they was hating on me. So I, I don't know how that worked out for them, cause they forgot heaven on earth is real, right? Like it's not fake, right? Like they just not gonna be able to partake because they were trying to take me out. The very blessing they needed to be blessed in their life, they didn't try to. They ruined that. So let me read, y'all, uh, cause you know I love to read to you. So you get that warning, that equipment, that understanding that uh, you're not out here alone. And it's not just physical realm. It's a spiritual realm kicking your behind when you're not discerning what's, the, what's going on in the rain. And those who call themselves following Jesus, stop putting fear in people, huh? Y'all keep talking about Jesus. You, you believe in Jesus, but then you talk about, oh, you should be aware. You should be careful. You should, be, you should worry about that. You're not of Jesus Christ. Man. Shut the fuck up, man. Jesus ain't coming to you to put fear in you. He came to give you courage. Yeah, so all y'all that call yourself being a follower of Jesus, the first time I, if I see your title talking about something about fear, or being worried, or being discouraged, get the fuck off my line, please. Eh? I do not need your fake ass fear, okay? I don't need that around me. Eh? I don't. I fight for mine. Ain't nothing to be fair, but to be trembling before the word of God. Something they refuse to do, but they do behind your back. They be trembling when God show up. They just don't let you know. All right, but stop putting fear in people, man. Like, come do that shit to my face, man. You can't even do it, man. Like, so stop putting fear in other people. Like, what? Man, y'all be doing the most, man. Like, y'all be doing the most, man. Like, wasting time, man. Like, really, man. Wasting time, man. Wasting time. So... Like earlier, Jesus was showing me <laughs> how y'all be over there making your little uh, your little ritual to try to take me out, slow me down, make me sleep me. Oh, oh, we need some some tissue. Get a straw. We 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 need something else. We need a dirty cute tip. We need let me add some hot sauce in that. When I say God was cooking y'all, showing me how y'all done, trying to act like you you going to take me out with your little wrist you, you doing, well, let me add a little a little ginger pot. See if this works. Ginger. Man, y'all looking stupid right there, man. Do not, do not let me make a movie off your dumb ass, dog. I'm trying to take me out, and I'm here to bless you. How stupid can you be, friend? <laughs> That is pitiful, man. So, straight up, another thing I already knew with um, the man that raised me, he became Saul, and I was David's son. I'm, I, I am a son of David, so he became jealous as I got hurt. Cause I know they was living off of me, but they been living off of me my whole life. My whole existence. They been, they been taking money and all kinds of stuff. They been forging my name. Look, 
My my identity has been stolen my whole life. Okay? Alright? This is why I can't be around y'all. Okay? Until all y'all getting in your head come correct or God gonna strike you when you come incorrect. And you can't say I ain't want you when he hits you when you try to come incorrect. Okay? Alright? So, I just want you. You know what I mean? Because people think they slick, bro. Like, I be like, do your thing, man. Do your thing. But at the end of the day, with truth, it's going to stand. When with fault, it's going to die. May the best man win. And I'm pretty sure we already won over here. <laughs> we already won, bro. It was written on the channel. Appreciate being created. Y'all don't appreciate shit, bro. That's why I said it, A, B, C. Appreciate being created. Y'all don't appreciate shit, bro. I'm going to repeat that, dog, because y'all need to get it in it. Righteousness already won. Like, before you show that, righteousness always been winning. To the point the demons have been forced to do what they're supposed to do to bless you. Okay? Position you to get blessed. Although they trying to hurt your life, you know, God takes the evil they do to you and make it good for you, right? Just stick with Jesus Christ, you, you won, okay? He's going to build you up through the adversity, the persecution, but you're getting built, okay? That's the whole point of your relationship with Jesus and leaving these cowards to themselves, okay? Because you see, they already got come together behind your back to come against you, right? That should tell you something. You are valued. Good. So on grandma time, on page 1458, 1458, them two numbers right there, all four of them. Good. All right. And the title for J O H N, John chapter 5, it say Christ H E A. L.S. Here's on the Sabbath. Christ. Christ heals on the Sabbath. <clears throat> and they, they probably took that to offense. Oh, you're not supposed to heal nobody on this day. Man. So if you needed to be healed and God walked past you because he, he was supposed to be abiding by your fake love, you just died up. So you wouldn't want him to hear you. I'm talking to my enemies right now. The same people that are trying to still keep trying to take me out. So if you need a healing and you know Jesus heals, on your little Sabbath day that your Lord refuses to do any any work, any healing, you just gonna you just gonna hurry up and die? Or you're going to take into consideration that you see your Lord and Savior and you don't care if it's the Sabbath or not and ask him to heal you. You common sense with me, y'all. And unless you straight up possessed by the devil himself, uh, you possessed by them demons, that is common sense. You're not going to accept Jesus healing you unless you possess. That's, that's real clear. That don't take a rocket scientist to know that. Alright, so, so, wow, y'all, y'all think y'all thieves, y'all think y'all good at selling from people, y'all, y'all forgot that, uh, Jesus was the, uh, was like a thief in the night, God is not playing with his creation, bro, like, he really, man, let me read it to y'all, okay, since y'all don't seem to understand, let's pray for <laughs> That little black magic booty ritual is not working. It's never going to work. It's going to pop right back at you. In Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity to come to you. Come to your heavenly throne. Your justice. Your righteousness. Keep me covered in comfort in the times of discomfort. In chaos, you renew my mind to think heavenly in the middle of war. 
I do not take that for granted, right? I thank you for giving me your wisdom and knowledge at the time you gave me. I pray that I apply it correctly towards my enemy so that my enemy will be the first to, to those they trying to take from me, including myself. That you will use my enemy to do your will and that it will lead to salvation for those who are bound by them doing the evil to us and myself. I thank you for releasing me from this trap in the middle of a trap so that you may be glorified, uplifted, and exalted in all you do in my life. So that these demons and those workers of iniquity will be caught in their cunning and crafting. And that may they die by their own doing against your loved ones who seek you in all that they do. Thank you for protecting them and those close dear to this heart. Thank you for guiding us so that we may destroy all darkness and evil wickedness in high places. Thank you for the opportunity to read your word to your people so that they may be reminded, uplifted, to the point they have no choice but to want to praise and worship your holy name. And I thank you for the opportunity to pray for protection from your angels, washing up so that they can deny and cut short and kill off every thought, action, trap, device trying to take me out. Every, every piece of information, may you turn it against them so it work in the favor of you being glorified through this temple. I pray that those who are listening and paying attention, that they will open their heart to reading out loud with me. And so that can, so that your word and your love, Lord, can fill the void that they harboring in. I pray that every word read will bring that marvelous light to it. And that they will continue to understand that each word read is healing. It's not just to be read, but it's actual healing. Because it's truth, it's alive, it's moving, it's active. It's not wasting no time. It's always productive, producing miracles after miracles, seen and unseen. I thank you for covering me and preparing me to defeat all those things coming to attack me, spiritually, mentally, and physically. I pray that all those who are corrupt, that you would destroy them right where they are. Since they don't want to repent, please destroy them right where they are. You gave me the power to destroy and trample any snake, scorpion, or any evil, wicked thing. I'm using that power right now. You bless me with it, Lord, to speak your truth that will destroy every corrupt thing on this earth and send it back to the lake of fire where it belongs. Confirmation, I'm hearing sound. And I'm hard of hearing. I ain't even got my hearing aids on. Lord, thank you for your miracle. Thank you for watching love us. Those who love you. Thank you for keeping us in your perfect peace that passes all understanding in the midst of bloodshed happening. And thank you for separating us from those who call themselves doing your will, which is not your will, which is war. I pray that every soldier that don't know you as Lord and Savior, that you will separate them from those who are of the devil. And I pray that every demonic devilish angel will be sent back to where they belong, hell, in the lake of fire. And thank you for protecting the innocent ones from them through this prayer and through the reading out loud of your word. May every word do what it's meant to do. Produce miracles in the lives who open their heart to being humble and receiving the spiritual 
answer, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who saved us from going to hell. We do not take that for granted. Dear. Thank you for protecting everything we don't see and what we do see and providing us the wisdom to help others when you bless us and position us to be a blessing to help others. It's in Jesus' name we do give thanks, thanks, and praise always. Amen. Thank God. Amen again. A real mother don't be trying to kill the person taking care of him. So you know they try to uh, sacrifice me, right? Well, let's read. Christ heals on the Sabbath. J-O-H-N. John chapter 5, verse 1. Y'all ready? Let me give y'all a second. You know, that's that real orange juice right there. <laughs> Florida orange. Yeah. What? Cookie. All right, here we go. Verse 1. Cookie. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. Semicolon. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Page. Verse 2. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool common which is called in the Hebrew, the Hebrew tongue, but the thoughts come, having five portions, period, verse 3. And these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, comma, of blind, comma, heart, comma, with, comma, waiting for the moving of the water, period, verse 4. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool, come, and troubled the water, come. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in, which made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Period. Verse 5. And a certain man was there, come, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. Period. Verse 6. When Jesus saw him lie, come, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, come, he said unto him, come, wilt thou be made whole? Question mark. Verse 7. The impotent man answered him, come, sir, come, I have no man, come, when the water is troubled, come, to put me into the pool. <laughs> come. But while I am coming, come, another step is down before me. Period. Verse 8. Jesus says unto him, come, rise, come, take up thy bed, come, and walk. Period. He told him to do three things. <laughs> Verse 9. And immediately the man was made whole, come, and took up his bed, come, and walk. Come. And on the same day was the Sabbath. Period. Verse 10. The Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, come. It is the Sabbath day. Come. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. Period. Verse 11. He answered them, come. He that made me whole, come. The same said unto me, come. Take up thy bed, come, and walk. Period. Verse 12. Then asked they him, come, what man is that which said unto thee, come, take up thy bed, come, and walk? Question mark. Verse 13. And he that was healed was not who it was, come, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, come. A multitude being in that place. Period. Verse 14. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple, comma, and said unto him, comma, Behold, comma, thou art made her, comma, say no more, comma, lest a worse thing come unto thee. Period. Verse 15. 
the man departed coming and told the Jews that it was Jesus coming, which had made them hope. Period. Verse 16. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus coming and start to slay him coming because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. Period. Verse 17. But Jesus answered them, comma, My father records hitherto, comma, and I will. Period. Verse 18. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, comma, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, comma, but said also that God was his father, comma, making himself equal with God. Period. Dude. Ooh, big bird. That's that big milk and solid meat right there. Verse 19. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Come, verily, come, verily, come, I say unto you, come. The son can do nothing of himself, come, but what he sees the father do, come. But what things soever he doeth, come, these also do the son likewise. Period. Verse 20. <clears throat> For the father loveth the son, come, and sheweth him all things that himself doeth, come. And he will shew him greater work than these, come, that ye may mock. Period. Verse 21. For as the father raises up, the dead come and quickness them, semicolon. Even so, the son quickness whom he will. Period. Verse 22. For the father judges no man come, but had committed all judgment unto the son. Come. Verse 23. That all men shall honor the son come, even as they honor the father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. Period. Verse 24. Verily, comma, verily, comma, I say unto you, comma, he that heareth my word, comma, and believeth on him that sent me, comma, hath everlasting life, comma, and shall not come into condemnation. Semicolon. But it passed from death unto life. Period. Verse 25. Verily, comma, verily, comma, I say unto you, comma, the hour is coming, comma, and now it is, comma, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, comma, and they that hear shall live. Period. Verse 26. For as the Father hath life in himself, semicolon, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. Semicolon. Verse 27. And have given him authority to execute judgment also, comma, because he is the Son of Man. P. Verse 28. Marvel not at this, comma, for the hour is coming, comma, in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, comma, verse 29, and shall come forth, semicolon. They that have done good, comma, unto the resurrection of life, semicolon, and they have done evil, comma, unto the resurrection of damnation, period. Verse 30, I can of mine own self do nothing, comma, as I hear, comma, I judge, Colon, and my judgment is just. Semicolon. But I seek not my own will, comma, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. Period. Verse 31. If I bear witness of myself, comma, my witness is not true. Period. Verse 33. Yea, he said unto John, comma, and he bear witness unto the truth. Period. Verse 34. But I receive not testimony from man, comma, but these things I say, comma, that ye might be saved. Period. 
verse 35. He was a burning and shining light. Covenant. And ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. Period. Verse 36. But I have greater witness than that of John. Covenant. For the works uh, for the works which the Father have given me to finish, Come on. the same work that I do, Come on. bear witness of me, Come on. that the Father has sent me. Period. Verse 37. And the Father himself which hath sent me, Come on, hath borne witness of me. Period. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, Come on. No seen his shape. Period. Verse 38. And ye have not his word abiding in you. Covenant. For whom he has sent. Comma, him ye believe not. Period. Verse 39. Search the scriptures. For in them ye think they have eternal life. Covenant. And they are they which testify of me. Period. Verse 40. And ye will not come to me, comma, that ye might have life. Period. Verse 41. I receive not honor from men. Period. Nor are we looking for it. Verse 42. But I know you, comma, that ye have not the love of God in you. Period. Verse 43. I am come in my Father's name, comma, and ye receive me not, Colonel. If another shall come in his own name, comma, him ye will receive. Period. Verse 44. <laughs> How can ye believe, comma, which receive honor one of another, comma, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Question mark. Verse 45. Do not think, <clears throat> do not think, I will accuse you to the Father, Covenant. There is one that accuses you, comma, even Moses, comma, in whom ye trust. Period. Verse 46. For had ye believed Moses, comma, ye would have believed me. Colin, for he wrote of me. Period. Verse 47. But if ye believe not his writing, comma, how shall ye believe my words? Question mark. Chapter 6. Oh, so let's stop on the number 47. That that number 47 is. Y'all should look that up. Right. It's, <laughs> if you're not healed, fulfilled, satisfied to the mind, body, soul, and spirit, pray, ask for the Holy Spirit to guide you. And we read that. Okay, we read the whole chapter, okay, the whole thing. And take your time, okay? If you're not healed after we just read the healing right there. See, when those who don't believe in Jesus are already condemned. That's why you see your enemies out here acting the food. They living in denial, okay? The smartest thing you can do is avoid them at all costs. Because if anything... They know you the light because you believe in you. So they're going to have to come to you one way or another. But what I pray for is that those who are evil and trying to come at you, that God will correct them on the way to coming to you. Get all that corruption and evil wickedness in them, out of them. So that they come at you correct. Like the first two God made them to be in your life. Okay? Just name, right, man. Right, right. I ain't got much to say. What I had to say, I said yesterday. To all those pretending like they they of God, you been you been exposed. So I don't have to say nothing more. I just needed everybody to know the same people I was doing the work with. Cause I'm a team player. I'm the, I'm the best team player. I know I am. But like that's why it's easy for me to walk away from people. Because you ain't shit without my help. Well, otherwise, why did God bless me in your presence in the first place? Besides knowing how evil and wicked you are to work me, 
He knew unconditional love was going to trump your evil and wickedness. I'm not losing to no evil and wickedness. I'm beating this shit out of all you motherfuckers. I'm not playing, bro. And if you don't like my language, hop off this channel and go to the next. All right, I'm not no little ass nigga you going to talk down on. You going to look at and stay whatever you got to stay under your breath. No, God can correct all that. He going to hit you every time you hit me. He going to hit you back. So go ahead and be stupid if you want to. But you dealing with a real warrior, yeah? physically, mentally, and spiritually. And spiritually. I'm not playing. You don't take with me and think everything is all gravy, bro. It's not, man. It's spiritual law first, then the physical. Y'all call yourself a mafia. Ma I call you cowards, bro. Y'all supposed to be out here building families with women. And children, not men and men, and thought to make a man get the fuck out of here with that. All that abomination, stop. You been sent to the lake of fire, man. You on your way. You already know him. You already know him. Y'all really think y'all big and bad. You about to find out, and you was never that, man. You was never that. God sent you a delusion to believe that, and you fell for the trick. Coming against me trying to warn you, stop doing that shit. It's not going to go the way you think, man. Fake-ass brothers and sisters, man, y'all funny as shit, man. So how did that material money y'all stole from me, how is that working out for you? You, you living your little life like, how's it, how's it really working out for you, man? Cause I know y'all sick as shit on the inside. Yeah, cause you did some sick shit, bro. Like, how to involve my children, bro. Like, they innocent, bro. Ain't not, man. Y'all really fell for it, bro. Like, people don't believe I was really smart at the age one and two. Like, I really knew what was going on, bro. Like, that's why I say you gotta quickly obey those in front of you. Cause they can't, they can't hurt you if you obedient. They can't, cause you obedient. Well, like, <laughs> you're not obedient to them first. That's the thing though. They think you're obedient to them. So they think they got you wrapped around their finger. But no, you obedient to the one who sent you there. God first. Cut you, man. Let me, let me catch y'all lady. Peace, y'all. I got more work to do. Stay tuned. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your night, afternoon, evening, wherever you at. God bless your heart. Keep reading. Keep flying up. Oh, don't look down because you do not want to be in hate. No, you don't. Right where you at, make heaven on earth by calling on Jesus and reading his word, listening for his instruction. Forward. All right. And my son, do your work. And you good, fam. Heaven on earth. I'm not playing. Because hell is going to be in the lake of fire where it belongs. Okay? No more evil and wicked. And just that. And every child better not go starving, thirst, on ever again. Without clothes, without basic needs. The angels covering them. So I, I, I think I advise you evil piece of shit out here that's stopping them from getting what they need to stop. Before you get, before you get rocked, you can't get up after that. In Jesus' name, wake up, y'all. To just you go repent and ask for forgiveness. You gonna stop killing God's blood. Stop shedding God's blood, man. Jesus. Man, man, you gonna feel it either way, so you don't have to listen to me. But I guarantee you do dumb shit, you ain't gonna be able to come back to the channel after what I just warned you about. I'm not playing with y'all, fam. Y'all been playing with people's lives for the wrong reason. Now you about to get that times a hundred back to you, and it's not gonna be good, man. I promise you that. Because you wasn't good to the others. What goes around comes around. 
I've been wanting y'all to treat me correctly, bruh. I, I want y'all, bruh. What y'all do? Y'all try to go. Y'all try to go-go on me, bruh. Like, what? And you know I'm the king of go-go. Well, ain't nobody touching me with that. No. See, y'all need actual instrument to play go-go. I'm the actual instrument of go-go. Ain't no stop, stop over here. You be trying to stop it. Pop, pop over here. There you go. Y'all know what's that, bro. Let me get back to work, though. Stay encouraged to beat the sh out this Satan and his angels. Stay encouraged. Be brave in the Lord Jesus Christ, okay? Stop trying to be brave in your own strength, in your own flesh. It's not going to work, bro. Demons laugh at you, okay? And I'm trying to equip you to defeat these demons laughing at you, okay? All right. Love y'all. Be good. God first. Jesus is Lord. And the Holy Spirit got your back when you asking for help at all times. Dwelling on the inside, guiding you, leading you, reminding you how to treat people the way you want to be treated. For his purpose, and not your own, okay? God's will will be done. It's just that. Amen. Peace. Salute. Love you. Right? And then that one. Good. Oh.